This video is going to be about foam rollers. These can be purchased from Home Depot online, only online, and delivered to your house or the store. The problem with most foam rollers is they either fall apart while you are painting and leave lots of foam in your project, or they absorb an incredible amount of paint. They suck up a lot of paint, and when you are moving the roller on the project, it smears or smushes all the paint all over the place and makes a huge mess. And the third problem is that they just suck up an incredible amount of paint and leave lots of air bubbles in your paint project. So you need one of these four inch frames to use these things. The other rollers that they sell in the store have incredibly bad reviews, very bad reviews with the problems that I just listed. Lots of paint splashing around or air bubbles or the foam falls apart. So you can see my project over here. I have 17 cabinet doors that I'm going to be painting and I'm going to be trying out the high density. This was done with a regular roller and there are lots of lines on the wood from the paintbrush and the roller. So hopefully the high density roller is going to take care of that problem. You got to make sure that you don't have rust or paint on these things because they don't really spin properly as it is. You want to make sure you don't press this all the way in and push a hole through the end. So be careful when you're doing this. Doesn't want to go on now. Make sure that you leave a little space. You don't want, like I said, you don't want it to come through the end and you don't want it to bind. You want it to be spinning freely while you're using it. You can see that it's got a lot of play, a lot of floppy play over there, which is not great, but that's how these rollers work. I think you can see it in the video. It's wobbling around a little bit. So let's give it a try and see what happens. Time to start painting. I've already made a big mistake. I put way too much paint in the paint tray and you can see I didn't leave enough space to roll out the roller at the end. So this is going to be interesting to see what happens here. I'm putting the paint on the roller right now. It is definitely not sucking up the paint like they normally do. So let's see how this works. Um, the feel is good with the roller. I do not... I don't see uh, air bubbles. There's no way that this is going to fall apart right away. It's putting on a very smooth coat. No doubt. It's, it's actually looking really nice. And I just got a little piece of dust in there. Great. I did not want that. <clears throat> so, so far I'm happy. Uh, this is the back inside of the cabinet. But it is putting on a very nice, smooth finish that I'm extremely pleased with. Now I'm going to have to go towards the edge of the roller and start getting some paint on there because I want to see how this works <clears throat> getting into the corner here. And it puts on a, a real nice finish. I think you should be able to see with this video that it puts on a very good finish. The nice thing that I'm very happy with is that it's not sucking up an incredible amount of paint, but it is putting a nice coat of paint on there. So, I'm very pleased with this, because I've used these things before, and normally, you end up sloshing paint all over the place, and it makes an incredible mess. So, I think this is a very good product. I'm extremely happy with it. Let's try one more thing before I shut off the video. I got a little bit of paint on the roller and let's try the edge. These are usually very difficult to do. The foam roller is allowing it to uh, get into the crease over there. A very smooth layer of paint, which you would not get if you were using a paintbrush. And that's my review. Very happy with the product. Worth the price, worth the, uh, the money. It's going to save me an enormous amount of time. It's going to make the project come out very nice, I can see. we got a little bit too much paint on there. Let's see how it handles that. It sucks it up, 
and I can re redistribute it somewhere else. So, very happy with the product. Yes, I would recommend purchasing this, definitely. And uh, if you like my video, and it saves you some time or money, maybe you want to go to my channel page and click on support and help me out. Do a thumbs up, a subscribe, a like, and happy painting.